Boyd Wire here and it's Wire Lady TV every Wednesday at 1.30 ish. Sometimes I'm a few minutes late. And uh, how's everybody doing today? If you're new, uh, definitely introduce yourselves and say where you're watching from. And if you've been with me for a long time, also say hello and tell me how you're doing, what's up. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a very special request today from Deb. She DM'd me on Etsy on my Etsy DIY uh, channel and asked me about some design ideas. So she wanted to do a design for a birdcage. Um, she's done a little sketch. I'm going to show you guys. And uh, I thought I'd start by showing you guys some bird cages that I made a few years ago, like 30 years ago. And um, oh, people are hopping on. Hi, Deb, you're here. Nice. So here's some bird cages that I made a few, like 30 years ago, many years ago when I was selling on the streets. So this is going to be my starting point, uh, plus Deb's sketches. And we're going to see what we can do. So that's super fun. Hi, Amber. I'm missing comments, so I'm going to actually go right ahead and put the screen and I'll put those there so you guys can see them. And then we'll get started. So let me just put the screen. There we go. And then we got to have to see if we're lined up. So I'm going to come around and I have to pull up the video on my channel. I'm not sure you can see anything on screen. So let me pull the video up and see. We're going to refresh refresh the page and there's the live stream turn off the sound and we have oh good you can see them so we have Deb was up first awesome and Brat's lip logic hello a Brat stole out of wire now that would be tricky for sure uh, hi Ellen and Amber of course Amber thanks so much for always hopping on Amber is one of the moderators of my channel and I super appreciate everything she does and uh, they look amazing. They're fun, eh? They're very detailed. Hi, Sharon. Nice to see you. So now, um, these are the sketches that Deb sent me. Hopefully, you guys can see them. They're, they look, they're a little bit small, but um, maybe from your angle, but they're not, not too bad. But these are super cute, very detailed. Uh, we'll have to see what we could do um, with the wire. So Deb, you had uh, suggested a couple of things. One thing, one thing you had suggested was butterflies flying, and the other one was a bird cage with uh, birds flying out. So the idea of like freedom, and um, it says a bird cage escape within, escape without. Interesting. And then you'd also mentioned um, the person you want to make it for is interested in music and writing and art. So I love these custom requests from people. They're very inspiring, and like I said, these were the. These were the bird cages I've previously made with little tiny uh, ceramic beads from Guatemala. So those were fun. Hi, Olga. I wish you could see them better. Well, I could bring them a little bit further. I could bring the sketches up a little higher. So let's see. No, that's the wrong way. That way, maybe. So here's no wrong way. So I have to uh, get in sync. There's a slight delay from my camera to the um to the actual video so this is what i'm seeing now so these are deb's sketches super cute so i have to bring them back that way i think no i have to bring them that way there we go and then let me just see oh it's not the same deb okay cool okay so this is a different deb there's so many debs and uh, so if the right Deb hops on, I hope she says hello and lets me know who it is. So in love the art. Yes. So awesome for sure. So these are the bird cages and we're going to see what we could do. That's the trouble when people have different usernames too. Sometimes I get really confused about who is who. So that's not the right Deb. That's okay. Maybe Deb's going to watch the replay. Hi, Mirta. So now, yeah, so let's just play around with it. You know what I should do first, though, is do a drawing. So let me get a pencil and a paper. And that's going to be the easiest way if I do some sketches first. Because as always, when I come on these live streams, I don't have anything in mind, like, specifically. I always come on these live streams just with an open mind uh, to know and just go with the flow type of thing. Yes, so Deb's from the Wire Wrapping Group too, the Wire Makers Club, but I think we have several Debs in there as well. So it's awfully confusing, but uh, yeah, I super appreciate you're here as well. So now, uh, just the idea of doing sort of, um, we have to really simplify these though, these designs, because 
Uh, they're quite complex, but the idea would be to have, um, I should probably do this in pencil, but I'll do it in pen. So these ones I did before are 3D. I don't know if I've ever done a tutorial or a demo on these. I might have. Amber, maybe you know if I've ever done a tutorial for the 3D bird cages. If not, I could do them sometime. Uh, and then, so if we wanted to do like a more 2D thing, I like these shapes like that too, because I think they were supposed to be earrings. So you want them to be pretty, you know, straightforward. So we could either like do a round bottom or straight across. And then the idea would you want, you would want to have some wires like coming down around here, okay. And then to have like the door open, I kind of like the door open at the side too, because that is a little more obvious that it's an open door. So say we did like a, a door open like that. And then this would be kind of go like this. This kind of reminds me of working out the design for the American flag that I had done for somebody else where you have like little suspended areas because that's the trick. So this would be like kind of a basic thing and then you'd have to do some lines here as well. So that would be kind of like a bird cage and you can, oh, she's got like a little heart up there. That's adorable. So you could do like a little heart or something. And then you can do like that. You could even do things dangling down as well. So, um, hi, Kitsuri. Hello and hi, Kathy. Nice. Yes, so far so good. So then we have these little birds. This one's so cute. It looks like a little butterfly or something. So um, I'm not quite sure the best way to do the flying bird, but I have done birds before. So you just... That is also the key, like how are you going to get them to look like they're actually flying? You'll have to attach them with some kind of wire. These are going to be a little elaborate for an earring. Maybe this would be better for a, um, for a sun catcher or something. But just if I'm going directly from her sketch, you'd want to like have like maybe, maybe three because any more than that is going to be too much. And then you would get, they would get smaller as you go out. So that's the idea. So this is just, you know, so you guys can see kind of the design process type of thing. So that's interesting. So I think what I'm going to do is rather than fuss around too much with the sketch, I'm just going to go for it and start it and see how it goes. So to do the base, let's just do with a 20 gauge basic wire. I think that's the best thing to work with is just a basic wire. And then I'm going to cut some pieces and just go for it. Hi, Amanda. Nice to see you. So now let's go ahead and get our tools, that, that, and we're going to cut some pieces. So the thing about the bird cage is we're going to have to use a bunch of pieces of wire because um, there's a lot of little pieces in there. But let's just start with the outline. You could do the outline in a larger uh, wire as well, but I'm just going to start with a basic piece of wire to do the outline. Uh, with an open door. Yes, open door so the birds are free. Hi, Rhonda. Nice. So now let's go ahead and get a wire. I'm just really winging it today, guys. I have no idea that what direction I'm going to want to also make sure my hands stay on screen. So let's go ahead and just bend this somewhat in the middle up. I like the idea of the bottom being a little bit curved. The other thing you can do is if you want to make sure the wires don't like shift back and forth, you can do like little loops, but then it gets a little bit messy. So I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible. So we're going to bring this one around and then bring this one. It looks cute when it's like a little narrower at the bottom. So we're going to bend that one up here and out, straight out, and then straight out. So this is our beginning part and then I'm going to get a round form so we could use the marker or sometimes I use my ring cone which is super handy but um, we're going to just get a marker here this is the one I use for my paper clip tutorials just because some people don't have a lot of tools and it's good to have some things that are a little more accessible for people so you can use markers um, um, sharpies all kinds of things pill bottles to do the round forms so if we're just going to bring this one around here just bring that one around here and out these look awesome yeah this i think this could be really fun and um, deb's uh, 
drawings are very, very uh, detailed, but for now, we're just gonna go try to do something a little more simple. I'm just also thinking in terms of, I might go ahead and do the open door first, and then I don't have to worry about attaching it. Although, wouldn't it be cute if the door opened and closed? Ooh, now that would be super cute too. I like that idea of doing like a hinge. Uh, so either you would like, I'm gonna just draw it so you guys can see. So either you would just do the door, like go up, across, that way, that way, and that way. Okay, that would be the open door. Or we could do one and do like a, a hinge thing. Who that's, that's attracting me right now. So let's do the hinge. Reminds me of a piece my brother made uh, years ago um, when I had brought my wire to my brother's place. He actually made a wire thing and it was um, all hinges, which was really, really cool. So we need a part that's straight enough that we'll be able to do the open door. So we're gonna curve it at the top. We're gonna have to move this curve up a little bit too, up here. And then we're just gonna bend one of them straight up. Okay, God bless Sharpies, exactly. Yeah, the hinge will be cute. Let's do the hinge. Let's do it. What have we got to lose, right? Absolutely nothing. So now we're gonna take this and we're just gonna wind this around here. In fact, I could use, if this had been longer, I could have used it to do my crossbars and stuff. We can maybe use it to do one of them, okay? I could, I could, I should have cut it longer and then been able to go back and forth with it. We could also maybe do the, the wires a little skinnier too. Maybe the 20 gauge is pretty thick, but I'm just gonna clip that one for now um, because it's not long enough to do all of them. So, Hey, Olga, how you doing? So now we've got that. Oh, I should have done the heart, actually. I didn't think about that. I should have done the heart. So we can, I can just do the heart now. I should have done the heart with the other wire, but I'll just do it with this one for fun. And um, I, was, I meant to do the, I meant to do the heart with the other wire and then um, do a loop at the top with the, uh, with this wire, but that's okay. It's it's a really a prototype, and with the prototypes, I don't mind making mistakes and stuff. So this is this is where we're at now. So here's the heart. Okay, there's the heart. Little it's a little small, and but we also maybe need a loop to hang it up with, unless you hung it with the heart. But I'm gonna just bring this one back around, and then straight up. Okay, so this, like I said, this could have been the wire back there, but it's all right like that. I think it'll hold its shape. And then from here, you need something to hang it up. So you can just make a loop or you can make a hook like a hanger. There's lots of things you can do. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a little loop. You could put a bead up there. There's all kinds of things you can do. So I'll just do that. Keep it simple. Clip it off. And it's coming. The heart's adorable. Yeah, for sure. So there's the starting point of the bird cage. And because I'm so excited about it, let's just go ahead and do the, the hinge door because um, I want to see how that's going to roll. So let me get some more wire. And you won't need a too big piece for the hinge, I wouldn't think. And let me think in terms of how I want to do this. I guess I'll do the hinge first. So say we bring it here and I'll have to pull out some of those hinge pieces that my brother made because they're super cool. So we're going to bring this one around, around and around and just go down as far as we think we're going to need. And then we'll... Um, we can always work our way up with the other one too. So we're gonna get that and see how big we want it around there. Actually, maybe I'll just, um, I'm gonna clip that one and then I'll go back the other way. Uh, yeah, Amber speaks Spanish, which is awesome. I guess a lot of people in the States speak Spanish as well. I'd love to learn Spanish and I bought a book to learn Spanish, but I haven't got around to actually 
working on it yet. I did sign up for a Duolingo to learn a bit, but uh, that too, I haven't had time. So now the door, how big do we want the door? So we could bring it in to see how big we want the door and maybe the door like Let me get a decent size. We're gonna bring it down here. So there's gonna be the door, okay? And then we're gonna bring it maybe even bigger. Okay, we'll see. That way and down. And then maybe about here. Might be a little big now, but that's okay. So this would be the door. Oh my God, it's so cute already. So let's bring this one in here. You don't spink as much as you understand. (laughs) Yeah, that makes sense. Stella, I love, love, love your vids. What can you, what, what can't you make? Ah, I'm new at this and found cheap wire at the dollar store. Good idea for experimenting. Awesome. Yep. Good idea to find cheap wire. And hello, Stella. And thanks for, thanks for your kind words. Um, great idea to start with cheap wire because, um, you do a lot of experimenting for sure. And, um, I use a lot of the artistic wire, and this is actually the tin copper. It's pretty affordable, and it's a good wire. I buy that at Michael's, or Beadalon sent me a bunch of wire too, so I'm pretty lucky because I promote their products. They send me free stuff, which is really, really nice, and it was actually my goal for many years to collaborate with Beadalon, and um, and they reached out to me, so that was fun. That was really nice. So, uh, yeah, I love their stuff. And they provide prizes for my challenges, which is nice too. So uh, look out for new challenges coming up soon. I haven't been had a lot of time for that, but uh, as the summer progresses, I'll have a little bit more time and I'm going to put out a call for entry for Live Wires for the Win Season 2. So look out for that. That was super fun. I'm uh, going to change the format of that a little bit, but stay tuned to find out more about that. Uh but I can barely do English. Hello, hello, Kathy. Uh, uh, oh, what did Amanda say? Amanda said it could work as a pendant. Yes, use invisible line to suspend the birds. Ooh, I like that. That's a good idea. Very nice. Yeah, you could put the birds dangling from the cord. Wouldn't that be beautiful? I'll mention that to Debs because she might she might want to do that or hope, maybe she could watch the live chat Um replay to find out your guys ideas so I'm maybe I'll jot that down too so I could tell her so here's the spring is done I'm going to write that down as she um Amanda so just write Amanda idea so um cord uh, invisible cord with birds I love that idea and you could even do like wire birds or um bead birds or anything you like. So let's just trim this guy. Okay, push that down a little more, trim him. Okay, so already, uh, where's the bird? Well, we're gonna have them flying out of the cage. So we're gonna see how that goes. But here's the, the, how cute is that? There's our, but what we have to do is, this needs to be a little bit more vertical. So I'm just gonna fix that a bit. That should be all right. So that's gonna be our door. Already it's adorable, guys. Wee, perfect. So now let's figure out how we're going to do the lines. This wire is a little hard. I'm thinking maybe to go with 22, even if it's not the same color silver. I think I'm going to go with this. Uh, sweet, thank you. Epic, yes. I love things that move like that. I think it's so functional, functional stuff. I think it's so cool. You know, I love gadgets, uh, Amber. Gadget is my middle name. So now I'm going to grab a little sip of water already looking great so let's hope I don't sabotage it by adding too much stuff but we should be good I'm not too worried so now the other thing mm, right oh you know what I should have done this line ah see this is where you get ideas what I should have done shoulda coulda woulda so what I should have done is taken this 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 And then what I should have done is taken this wire in like that, okay? If I took that wire in, oh, but then this might not work. Actually, this might not work. It won't won't rotate as much because there'll be too much wire. So scrap that. That's not a good idea. So let's go back and add some wire to this and see what we can do. So we're going to bring this. uh, uh, Visit Olga Heather... Palskirna Q. 
Kiruana. Oof, I saw my name, but I do not understand that. It wouldn't be a hinge, exactly. So this is live and learn, right? We try, we think we have an idea and then it's like, nope, that's not a good idea. So I'm gonna bring this wire down, see where it has to be positioned. Maybe I should have gone with the thicker wire with this, but we're, I don't want it too thick either. So if we put this one here, okay, straight down, that should be good. Mm-hmm, just thinking here, yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna twist this. Excuse me while I talk to myself in my head out loud. So we're gonna bring this one around here and we're gonna do this as a center horizontal line so you could use that. Ooh, okay, yeah, oh, smart. Okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. Okay, perfect. So what do I know? I don't have a bird. So that's a great idea, Amanda. So let's do that. I'm gonna, here, I'll leave this one here. Uh, see, this is why I love doing these live streams. You guys are a wealth of inspiration and ideas. So that's great. So now we're gonna bring this one to here and then we're gonna maybe bend this one straight down. Okay, straight down here. I don't want them too far apart either. Okay, bring that one in a little bit more. Okay, and we're gonna bring this one here and then I'm going to wind it around here a couple of times, there and there. Magic hands, aw, I have fun, I definitely do. Actually, my mom used to say I had healing hands because every time I would like give her a massage or something and, to, and her pain would magically disappear, so, um, so that's interesting. I guess, I guess my hands are my are my strong point. I would say. So, um, but I can't imagine going into massage therapy. I feel like that would um, be very hard on your hands. I don't know how people uh, massage therapists do that like eight hours a day, but I guess they get used to it. So there's that. And starting, Amanda says, just I'm just start staring at my decorative bird cage. Oh, that's cool. I love that. Very nice. So there's that. And then we're gonna bring this one up here straight up. I'm not sure how many lines I'm gonna do. We're gonna bring this one here and wind this one around, around here. I really love that idea of doing putting it on a necklace with the birds hang dangling off of the um, off of the cord. I think that's such a lovely idea. So we're just gonna wind this one around a couple of times. I feel like I should have curved these out a little bit. Mm, yeah, they're too straight now. That's the problem. So I should have like curved this out a little bit. Yeah, that one too. So maybe it's not too late. I realized they were like too straight. So we're gonna bring this one up and this one, and maybe this will be the last one because we don't want too many wires in there. So we're gonna bring this one up here. Hard on your back too, I can imagine. Yeah, for sure. So we're gonna, don't go here. And we're go, hi Adrija, hello. Lots of cool emojis. So we're gonna bring this one down. So we're curving these ones out a bit, which I should have done to begin with. So this is enough for here. Okay, so I'm just going to, Finish this one off. We'll just finish this one off here. Bring it around a couple of times. There. And up. And maybe we could even use this wire for one of the, for the crossbars. Or I think I'll just cut it off and start again. I think it's gonna be easier. So we're gonna do that. And there, let's cut that one off. Okay, and Kathy says, life is your canvas, Amanda, shape your art around it. Lovely quote. There we go. Perfect. There's that one. So we've got that. These ones I should have curved out a little bit more. So I'll try to like curve these a little bit with my nail, I guess. So this shape, I might have been able to improve the shape of the bird cage as well, but it's okay for now. So there's that. So now I think I'm gonna get some wire and go across like Amanda suggested. So let's do this. Get a piece of wire. 
There we go. Boing. Hopefully that's enough. And grab a little sip of water. Okay, so now we are going to take this one and go across. So if we did a crossbar there and there, then it would work well. And then we're gonna have to see what we can do about those things. Uh, I wonder how many crossbars there are, if there's just a couple. Let's see what um, Deb did in her sketch. Um, yeah, she just, she put a couple. So maybe there's just a couple of them. And we're just gonna take this, bring that one around. Okay, and then this one, we're gonna bring over here and wind this a couple of times and then work our way up and then we'll work it back. So that should be all right. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking, just thinking because if we start like wiggling around with that and winding wire around, it might be a little bit difficult. So what I'm thinking is I might, I'm gonna see how this is gonna work. If I take this, just let me tighten this up a little bit. Okay, a couple of times and then wind this one around. And then I'm gonna pinch that in a little bit. There we go. Perfect. There, we're gonna trim that. And then I'm going to get my flat pliers and pinch that in a little bit. Perfect. And then what I'm thinking to do here, just so it won't get too like full of wire, might or might not work. Just let me think for a sec. Uh, yeah, maybe we'd be better to do that. And then, okay, yeah, I'm gonna try this. Okay, so that. I was going to do something, but it's not um, in retrospect. I think I want these crossbars to be a little bit more like on the surface and a straight line. I was going to try to go back and forth with the with the wire a little bit. So there we go. So we're going to go around here. We're going to come up one more time. Uh... You might weave in and out your vertical wire. Yeah, I was, what I was gonna do was go like kind of down, up and down and down. So, but I think what I'm gonna try is to do something in, in, in behind, we're gonna see. And um, also sometimes when you guys make suggestions, I really appreciate it, but sometimes I have trouble visualizing it. So, uh, definitely try to, you know, when you make suggestions, definitely um, try to explain it uh, well. And if ever you want to send me a picture of an idea that you have that might help, uh, definitely you could uh, DM me any any sketches or pictures as well. So there we go. So this is the crossbars. Those are cool. So let's take this, bring it around a couple of times and see what we can do from there. So there we have the two crossbars, which are cool. And then we have the door that opens. And then for this part, what I was thinking to do was just, yeah, bring it back and forth, but in a way that, like I was gonna try to wind it around that wire, but then I was a little worried it was gonna get a little messy. So I'm gonna try to keep it super clean, take this up here, and then just bend it back and forth. So we're gonna see what that does. I'm gonna get my finer pliers for that. Peggy, hello, hello. So now we're going to take this and bend that across, okay? And then bend it down. I think it's gonna be the easiest way. Uh, down, okay, so then it's, the idea is it's a slightly hidden behind there. Hopefully I did it high enough. Twist that up a little bit, so. There we go. Because that what I what I was thinking is I just have that bent, but in a way that it's like hidden behind there. So we'll see how that's gonna work. So we're gonna go like that and bring that one in. And I think we'll have to do it one more time. We're gonna see. So we're gonna bring that one around, bring that one to the back, and 
perfect. So we're going to bring that one here, down and up. So let's see what we've got here. So I'm just curious, we have one, two, three there and one, two, three there. So I was thinking I could bring it back down, but that's maybe going to be a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do is, just so I don't have too much wire there, I'm actually going to remove a little bit of this one. Okay, just this one where we started the wire. Okay, just pull it back a little bit. Because I want to be able to bend the other one across. So I'm just going to unwind this one. This is the one we started the horizontal wire with. So we're just going to cut that and trim it. Hopefully I don't like cut it off. There we go. So there's that one. And then we're just going to take that and rotate it in a little bit. Okay, hopefully I'm just going to bring it closer to my actual face so I can see it. There we go. So there's that one. Perfect. And then we're going to take this and bring it across. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, so Adrija, yeah, if you're just posting emojis, uh, please uh, don't just post emojis on the on my channel, but you can definitely, if you have anything related to wire art and jewelry, you could place it in the comments uh, beside the video. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions or if you have any, want to tell me about any projects you're working on, just let me know. So see, that works well. It's pretty discreet. And then we just have to twist this one wire here. So I'm going to twist it here underneath that one best we can bring it around I'm going to trim this because it's way too long there we go and bring that one around so there we go perfect and get it in there pinch it in and then we're going to have to trim this end off perfect so that's that. So there we have so far, it's coming along. And now we have to do the same thing we did here over here. So now it's that we're going from the outside in. So we're just gonna take this one. Let me give it a little pinch. Bring that one in. Pinch it again. And then we're gonna bring these ones up. So we're going to bring this one, I'm not sure how that's going to work. We're going to see. So we're going to bring that one up this way. Okay, and then I can wind it around again. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking in terms of, because we want to go down, up, down. We want three, so we want, it'd be better to go down, up, no. Up, down, up. Yeah, this should work. Okay, so now... We're going to do this uh, and bring this one down. You want it to be nicely and snugly in place there. I'm going to bring that one there. Hold that in place. Curve it a bit maybe. And then we're going to wind this one around. So we're going to bring that one. And Peggy says, I'm attempting to make a 1D dragon for Mark's coaster. Cool. Very nice. I like that. That's interesting. To make like a coaster out of wire. I like that idea. That's really cool. Can't wait to see a picture. Yeah, that's that's a really cool idea. You could like just, you know, bend the wire around and make it dense enough that it would make a cool coaster. That's really interesting. So now we're going to bring this one across and this one straight up. I should have curved it a little bit more too. That's the trouble. That's because it's didn't get super curved in there, but you get the idea. There we go. Kind of curve it around a little bit. And so there's that. And then we can just twist this end in there. So let's just take this and twist it around in there. Hold it in place and bring that one around. And you could twist it a couple of times if it's going to be more solid. So there we go. This is 
definitely covering it with resin. That's brilliant. Oh, I can't wait to see that. That sounds amazing. Oh, um, Mustafa would love that idea too. I don't think he's with us today. So now we've got that and that. So here, guys, so far, let's move this one to the back because we want these lines to be behind the crossbars. But wow, that's pretty good so far. And these lines maybe could be more curved, but they look good like that. So here's the door. Whee! But I think I need some crossbars in the door. So let's do that. We'll get some more 22 gauge wire. I'm going to grab a little a sip. Wings must be big. Is that for the dragon? Yeah, so let's cut another little piece of wire. There we go. And the coaster with his name. That sounds so interesting. And this is, oh, I love it. It's cool, eh? It's coming along. So now uh, let's do the crossbars on here or the, the lines. I think we just, we're going to keep this one super simple. So uh, let us start by starting, which is my favorite motto, as Amber knows. If you're confused about what to do, you just start by starting and everything will fall into place. So that's what we do. And I actually used to have a website, a blog called Start By Starting, and I just had too many projects, so I deleted it. But I still have a, some of the videos on YouTube on, on my other Start By Starting channel. So that was more like a motivational channel. And um, yeah, I might pick it up one day. Yeah, never know. It's only so many hours in the day, right? So there's this. We're going to bring that one around and... We bring that around one more time. Uh, the hinge is fun, eh? I love the hinge. Yeah, hinge is super fun. So now let us give that a clip. Yeah, I'll find that hinge piece that my brother made because it's super cool. My brother is brilliant. He's actually an inventor. Uh, he's a he's a electronics guy, and he when we were teen when I was teen a teenager or he was a teenager, I was maybe a little younger, he used to invent things and his room was like full of inventions and gadgets and all kinds of stuff. So I grew up in a very creative household. Uh, he's a genius. He was unfortunately never able to monetize his work, but he still does it as a passion project. So, but he was inventing things before they would come out on the market. He invented a binary clock and then one day my friend, um, Gary, uh, we were at a restaurant or something and he flashed his watch and said, oh, look what I got, you know, because uh, it was like a new gadget. And I'm like, oh, that's a binary watch. <laughs> my brother invented that like 30 years ago. I mean, he didn't invent it, but he invented the format of the with the of the of the clock that uh, that now is like kind of popular. So that's interesting. But uh, I have some, a lot of his original stuff that he made back in the day that I would never part with. It's so, so beautiful. There's something about people's creations that's so amazing and inspiring. Any, anything, like any art, any invention, any gadget. I love it. Love it. So here we go. We're just doing our crossbars here, back and forth. And ingenuity, uh, I can't even say that word, in, ingenuity, I don't even know how to say that word, but it does, my dad's an engineer, so um, we definitely had that in our family, my mom's an artist, so uh, yeah, we had a lot of creativity in our family, for sure, uh, I'll have to rewatch. no worries, Peggy, and be sure to share uh, pictures of your resin uh, coaster, and I will share it in the community section, so uh, the viewers can see as well that your resin Dragon Resin Coaster. I cannot wait to see that. That sounds amazing. So yeah, when we talk about things on the live stream, I can share them in the community section, which is super fun. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, if you guys have, you know, maybe if I talk about something and then you want to see a picture of it, I can just share it there. Because there's uh, there's not, I don't always want to share things that aren't wire related. In uh, Well, I can't in the Wire Makers Club. That's all wire art and wire jewelry. But say we talk about something here on the on the live stream, I can share pictures of either stuff that you guys have talked about or stuff that I've talked about. So that's cool. So there, 
Ah, wow, my hand hurts. So now we're gonna do this and clip that. And there we have the bird cage is finito. But now we have to deal with the birds. So guys, here's our, let's bring it closer. See if you can see it. There we go. So here's bird cage and there is the door that closes. Hopefully it'll still close. Yep, closes. And it actually stays closed and opens. So that's that. Uh, Mirta says invention, I'm embroidering on soft leather. Ooh, that sounds cool. Peggy says, I have two coasters made. Ooh, okay. Yeah, some can get bubbles, especially if you have wire and lots of air spaces. For sure, you can get bubbles in them. But yeah, if there's anything you want to share, Peggy, DM it to me and I'll share it in the community section. Mm -hmm. Embroidered leather. I've never heard of it. Well, you have to send me some pics, guys. So now, the birds. Ooh, what do we do about the birds? So maybe the birds should be a different color. Maybe we can do uh, gold. Let me get some gold wire. Here's some gold, the artistic wire. And see how we're going to do these birds. Because, I mean, definitely we could do them on the necklace. Dangling down would be super. Wouldn't that be cute if you did like that with the, with like Amanda said, with these. So you have that. And then you put like your cord. And you could even put like maybe beads and then dangle one bird here, maybe like closer to the bird cage. My birds aren't the best right now in my drawings, but if we did that and then we did a few more beads and then one dangling down, oh, this would be so cute. And then a few more beads. And then another bird like that, and then just beads. Oh, Amanda, that would be adorable. I love that. I kind of want to do that right now. Because otherwise, what you would have to do, here, I'll show you the two options. So that would be one option. Okay, let me remove that. And then another option would be, uh, you have to paint with acrylic on leather. Ooh, cool. Yay, yeah, Amanda, yay. You should make one and let me know how you do. So now let's cut this wire and start by doing a bird. So let me just think of what I want to do. Yeah, I'll just start. I'm just going to try something first to see and keep it simple. Mm -mm -mm. I think I have to draw it first. Okay. So say we want to do something like that. So we had to do like the bird and maybe like the wings like that or something. That could be cool. Mm, could do up. And then like that. So we go like that. And then we need like that or something. And then to bring that one up. Up that way. Oh, what if we did like, let me just see. We do this. And we do, see we did one up like that. And then that way. And then this one, do one down like that. It could be interesting. Kind of like that. Then they look like they're in flight and then up there. Let's try something like that. Just out of curiosity. Hopefully I'll have enough wire. So if we start maybe just here, let's just start with here. I'm a little worried I'm going to run out of wire. I'm going to save that one and try to make, yes, do Amanda, 100%. Yeah. Uh, Olga says, may I know the gauge of the wire? So the, this is 20. This one was 20 for the outside and uh, 22 for the lines just so the lines would be a little finer. Uh, I'm going to just actually just use this spool of wire. I don't want to um, cut it too much. So to start with, let's just start with the bird. So I'm going to just bend this one back to make the beak. I'm not going to do eyes or anything. We're going to bring this one up. Okay. And then down. And this one could be a little bit bigger. 
And then down here. And then up. Uh, and what I might do is do this and then maybe after the live stream, if I run out of time, I can do the necklace and post a picture in the community section. I'll see how much time I have. Uh, so then this one, what if we want to bend that to the front and then bring this one around. Okay, so if that would be like one wing, these are not going to be perfect whatsoever, but that's okay. So we're going to got that, that one that way, this one up here and down. And then we want to do like a tail thing. So there, tail, okay, down. It's getting a little wiggly, so there, okay, tail, and then up, okay, and then down. Okay, so this would be the first bird. Oh, he's quite sweet. And we're gonna bring him around. And then we wanna do, I think this one, I'm gonna bring this one like down, like that. Oh, you know what I could do with that one even is just so it's like not falling apart, we could twist it around the tail to hold it in place. That might work. Um, hmm. Actually, I'm thinking I might want to do the, might want to do this with, wait, just let me think. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the wing on the, with this wire, with the same wire from the bird. So we're going to bring this one down. Um, bend this one to the back. There we go. Bend that to the back and find tiny bird beads. Yes, 100%. If you guys know where to get bird beads, uh, send me the link. I'll put it in the community section. Uh, I'm sure if you searched Etsy for bird beads. In fact, I might want to do that too. Actually, I have some really, ooh, I have some really cute ones. I have to find them. I have some really cute um, shell. They're bird beads made out of shells, like mother of pearl type things. Um, I just have to find them because they're super cute. So there's that. Uh, I hope that's on a good angle. It should be all right. And then we can take this wire, wind it around just to catch the tail a little bit. Pinch that. Bring that in and then bring that down that way. Okay, so that would be cool. And then we'd have to like figure out how we're gonna do the next bird. Cause I, I like the idea of them all being attached. So now what would we do? Um, and it's gonna have to be a little bit smaller too. So if we bring this one up here, oh, maybe we could do the I could try the wing with this one too. Let's just try it. Okay, we're gonna bring this one down and then bend it back. I'm trying to make it a little bit smaller. That way, it might be too small now. So bring it back. Okay, and then I'm gonna bend this one around a bit. So there, and then that way. And then bring that up and out. And we're going to make the beak. So, yeah, they're really beautiful, those uh, beads that I'm talking about. I just have to find them. I've used them to make the little birds in the bird's nest before that were really cute. One of the very first things I sold in my Etsy shop was that, like a little bird's nest with a little bird on it. And that was really cute. But, uh, yeah, there's that. I'll try to find them for sure. So we're going to bring this one around. Yeah. The very, very first thing I sold on Etsy was a little drummer, pair of drummer earrings. Because I've always done like little icons and drummers and animals and stuff for like 30 years. I've been doing that. So I made a little drummer, little, little um, uh, tam tam drummers, like the African drum uh, player. And the beads th that I've used for the piece broke in the mail. So my first experience on Etsy was selling uh, this really sweet pair of earrings, but they broke. So that was slightly traumatizing. But, you know, I got back on the horse and kept going with Etsy. And then eventually we found our niche and paid our mortgage with, with Etsy. So that was good. But yeah, I've definitely had my experiences on Etsy for sure. Now this one, I think needs to be a little bit longer. 
down and better straighten that out a little bit. I think the the wing was a little short. So there we go that way. There, and then bend this one around. There. We're coming. It's getting there. So now we have to figure out what to do. Uh, Amanda says, never fear enough. Heather can make anything for wire. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Tish. Nice. BBB kit, the cutest car for beads. Ooh, cool. Now bring this one up. Uh, so we have bird number two. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this, but we're, we're figuring it out. So we're going to bring this one up. Yeah, I used to do a lot of custom orders when I was selling at craft shows too. So people would come, they'd bring me like a sketch or a drawing of something they wanted. And then they go off for half an hour or two, an hour and I'd make them something and they'd come back and pick it up. And it was really fun. And one guy, I think I might've told you guys this story before. One time I was at a shopping mall and this guy came and asked me if I could do a picture, um, his Harley out of wire. And I'm like, sure, yeah, sure, I'll do I'll do a, like a Harley pin out of wire, a motorcycle. And um, so he, I think he came with a picture of his bike or something. Yeah, he came with a picture of his bike or showed me a picture of his bike or whatever. So then I did it. And then he came back and he looked at my pin and he said, that's not a Harley. And I said, oh, sorry, what's is something wrong with it? He said, yeah, yeah, it doesn't have that v engine on it and i was like okay i did not know but thanks for telling me so he brought me another better picture of his bike and i remade the harley with the v engine and he was super happy with it so ever since i've done motor like because i've done tons of motorcycles since so ever since that incident i've uh, been hyper aware of what a harley motor looks like so so that's hilarious um, I'm going to bring this one around. Actually, I'm going to bring this one around to the back, I think. Sometimes you don't know whether to bend things to the... No, I have to bring that to the front. So I'm going to bend it around twice, actually. So yeah, I've had tons of really very interesting experiences uh, with selling custom jewelry, for sure. <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah, I've met lots of interesting people. I used to have a lady who was a swinger that used to come to my kiosk and I made these little little anatomically correct uh, uh, earring people. And she used to come like every year to my show at the, um, at the folks festival and buy things for her swingers group. So that was interesting. <laughs> oh my goodness. People are awesome. So there's that, that one and that one. I don't know that I love the double twist there, but you know, live and learn. We're going to see. So there's that one. And now we need another third littler bead. So there we go. Uh, the bends get me too. Yeah. So now let's do another one. And where do we start with this? So we'll do one more bird. They're getting smaller and smaller. Uh, let's see what we're going to do here. Maybe about here. So again, we have to, we'll do the wing first again. So we're going to bring this one down, but we're going to try to make it really small. We should have maybe used 22 gauge wire, but that's okay. So let's make this one super small. There we go. A little baby. We want it, you want it to look like there's in, it's in perspective, right? So the birds are getting smaller as you go back. That's the idea. So I'm here just laughing. I'm happy I can make you laugh, Mirta. That's awesome. So now there we go. Bring that across and then bring this one up. There we go. And Mirta, I loved your son's uh, video. Eh? Mirta sent me a link to her son's uh, band, a metal band. And their uh, video that they, you sent me that they did was amazing. Such an interesting mix of metal and, you know, mellow and, you know, uh, social commentary very 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 cool i really really enjoyed that so i subscribe to his channel which is uh very cool i love supporting local musicians i have several mo local musicians that write music for my videos and let me use their already written music in their videos which is awesome and um i'm gonna try to go to the front this time on this do i want to it doesn't matter i'll go to the back and um I'm currently working on a new video and I have a guy that's done the music and I'm just need someone to sing it 
and I told him if I can't find a singer, I'll um, I'll sing it myself. But he has to morph my voice into something that actually sounds decent because I have a terrible singing voice. So I, was, I might get someone on Fiverr. I had a girl that offered to do it, but it was like $150 and I've already spent quite a bit of money on the music and the editing. So I think I have to find another solution for the for the music. So if there are any singers out there that want to sing for, uh, sadly, I can't pay for that, but I could promote your I could promote your uh, singing and your music and stuff on my channel. So hit me up if you want to sing a little ditty for my upcoming video. So here's this and that. Well, we're going to just make the tail. So we're going to just bring this one down there. And we're almost done. This one I should have done like a little further away from that one, but it's too late for that now. But this will just give you the idea. I'm going to try to bend this one. Did I bend the other one to the front or back? I think it was to the back or front. Okay, so I'm going to just bend this one to the back this time. And actually, you know what? This one I don't even have to twist because it's um, it's the last one. Maybe I should twist it. Okay, we're going to bring this one to the back just to hold it in place. And we're going to just take this and bring this one around. I think I would make these with 22 gauge wires if I did this again. Uh, your son is happy for another subscriber. Oh, my absolute pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure I can use heavy metal music in my videos, but I will definitely hit him up if I need some very heavy music in my, in my videos. So there we go. But it's very cool stuff. Very talented, Merta. You can congratulate him. So there we go. So we've got this. Bring that one out there. Fix that one up a little bit. It got a little bit distorted. Yeah, and these two birds got a little bit close together. That wasn't, you know, I didn't think that would happen, but sometimes you can't predict like the distance of them. So what can I do for that? Maybe I can un, what if I unwind this and bring it out? Yeah, let's just unwind it. Let's just do that. And then it's, then I don't have that weird double twist anymore. Ooh, so that was a dual, win-win for unwinding that wire and then it brings the bird out a little bit oh that's perfect so that's nice so here's our flying birds flying out of the cage so now we have to attach them uh there we go oh geez sharon i, I didn't even think about you oh my god i'm so sorry okay i'm gonna dm you sharon and let's see what we can do about that oh I did not, I actually didn't even think about asking uh, the view, YouTube viewers. I was thinking about people I knew locally, but um, that could work. We will talk. Awesome. So now let us attach this to here and somehow just to follow her sketch, we're going to bring this and yeah, so it looks like they're coming out of the cage. Like I don't, See, the trouble is if we put it like that, then we won't have this cool, like, thing. So there's two things you could do. You could do it like this. You won't be able to close the cage door, though. That's the issue. And then we could put it up here. See, we put it up here. And then you would be able to close the cage. So I think just for the sake of, you know, being able to do this, I'm gonna do it this way and I'm gonna just attach this. So how are we gonna do that? We're gonna bring this one here and maybe bring it up a little slight bit more, just a bit. And I'm gonna twist that one here and then I'm going to, um, I don't wanna to get too much into that intersection because we wanna be able to close this and see already that's not gonna close so well. So let me remove that. I don't want to affect that. So we're going to bring it up to that space. Then we'll definitely be able to close it. So we're going to do that. And we're going to bend this one around. And I might have to bring it through again. I don't know if we're going to be able to bring it through there again. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I didn't even think about asking you guys about uh, about singing. So that's cool. Yeah, I will, I will message you, Sharon. 
There we go. So we're going to bring that. Ironic, I'm looking for a singer, and we are making singing birds. So now we're going to take this and squish that up a little bit. Pull that. Tighten it up a little bit. We got that going there. And then this one, I was going to bring this to the back. I think what I'm going to have to do is find another place to attach it. So it's actually going to hold in place okay. and bring that one up. And then I guess if you just really want it to be solid, like sometimes what I'll do is I'll just bring it up to the top. Otherwise it's going to be like wiggling around, which is not the best. So I would just wind it around here. I'm actually probably going to remove it and do um, Amanda's idea on the necklace, but not now. I would do it like after the live stream. So this, it's pretty well done, guys. We're done. So there's the little birds coming, flying out of the cage. This was for Deb, who sent me these beautiful sketches. And Tish says, Olga, thank you. So now, and then we have the door that opens, opens and closes. So guys, that's it for today. Let me bring it up a little closer so you can see. There we go. Uh, love it. Thank you. Olga says, beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm getting off the screen here. Where's my, oh, there we go. Can you guys see it? There we go. I think that's good. So I will put a picture in the community section so you can see it. Uh, closer to the camera. There we go. Yay, perfect. So I will post a picture of this in the community section and then I'm going to uh, do Amanda's idea with the necklace. Uh, it's going to take too long to do it now. And then now in at about three o'clock, I'm going to hop onto my art channel and do a bit of a live stream for um, doing some watercolor painting special project for Amber. And Amber, I know you don't have time to hop on, but you can definitely watch the replay. And Amber says, love it. Thank you, Rhonda, very nice. Uh, thank you, you're very welcome. And thank you guys so much, Tish, Tish says, perfect. Yeah, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I will definitely um, send a picture to Deb too. She'll probably watch the replay. I'm gonna flip the screen again. So I can say goodbye to you guys. So let me just flip around the screen. And there we go. Perfect. So thank you so much, you guys, for hopping on. Thank you for um, Deb for sending me the sketch and the idea. I can't see the comments. As Sharon said, thank you. So thanks so much, Sharon. I'm going to DM you for sure about the singing. And everybody have an amazing day. Our next video is on Saturday. Hopping over to the art channel. Uh, thank you so much. Watching the replay. Perfect. Thanks, Amber. And thanks for always moderating the chat. I super appreciate it. And everybody have a great day, a great night. And we will see you really soon. Oh, that's me in. If you guys are wondering, that's Mimi when she's a baby. My friend took that picture of her. She's so adorable. Really, really cute picture. So anyways, I'm getting distracted. But we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye. See you guys.